Well, so much for style. The leather skirt and high heels for bicycle riding. Uh, pretty cool. Black on black. Uh, pretty cheap way to get around. You got the bag and everything, and it stays clean. Uh, you know, I'm going to get on with these markets again. You know, and I think a lot of people are getting bored with silver, right? You know, that's another reason I put uh, bicycles in there and talk about different things and all this type of stuff because, hey, you know, uh, give you an old expression by George Soros himself, right? The guy knows what he's doing. Actually, he drops some more hints than you think if you're really watching what he says carefully. But he says investments are boring. Investing is actually boring. If you are getting all excited, now boy, literally listen to this. If you're getting all excited, you are losing money or you're about to lose money. Gee, doesn't that sound like what goes on with silver? Everybody gets pumped up. It's going up. It's going up. Oh, it's going to the moon. And bam, right? And that's kind of like, uh, listen to what George Soros has to say. He's not stupid. And he's got GLD, right? I mean, yeah, he doesn't have the physical gold, but he has GLD. He's betting it's going up, and I think the electronic markets are going to hold together for a while longer. Now, um, I want to get on a couple other things. First off, with silver, you know, this is the, well, this is the JPM, you know, the evil uh, <laughs> JP Morgan, whatever you want to call it. The JPM Global Manufacturing Index, actually it's going up. So you got the December 31 data, it's actually just a hair over 50. But I just want to make a real common sense observation about boring ass silver right now. You know, it's sitting pretty flat. When the hell does silver sit flat for a real long time? It does sometimes, but what does it do after that? It goes ballistic in one direction or the other. Now, right now, a lot of people are thinking down because it dropped from like 33 or something like that. And it was already up to like 35, you know, several months ago. And, you know, the consensus is, yeah, it's going to test 26 again and maybe break through it. But I don't think so. I, You know, and this is something else I want to point out. And this is something I've always been thinking, too, that um, here's another stylish way of traveling around town if you want to save money. Uh, it shows to show you can be in style and ride a bicycle at the same time. But uh, one thing I was thinking is, too, that when a silver crowd is almost like... Not You can't say it's a rigid conspiracy in itself, but it's almost like some are leaders and some are leading the other ones around by the nose. But I think that when silver starts to go up, there is like people in the know to keep people hot and heavy on the metal. Push them in there, push them in there, and then you got all these bloggers out there just you know, pushing the metal left and right. I'm I'm not saying it's not a I'm saying it's a good investment. Actually right now, when these guys are all quiet, this is the time if you don't have any, buy it. But if you already are heavily invested in silver, you don't need to just keep adding and keep adding and adding and adding and adding and just keep stacking. That you know, I mean if you already load it down with this stuff, I mean you don't need to get too far into one investment. I don't like that either. You know, it's not gonna be your only savior and all this kind of garbage. You know, right now, it looks like for the short term, if you bought some of these guns, the way they're trying to talk about guns, you're probably going to make some money there on magazines or bullets or some garbage faster than silver, or even gun stocks for all I know. But, uh, you know, that's something where I detect there's like, there's probably maybe a little bit of a conspiracy in the silver world, too. And, uh, you know... It's like they're teasing you. They're teasing you. It's like they're saying, silver's going up. Silver's going up. Oh, buy it. It's the best thing in the world. You know, look at me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what they're doing, right? They're playing games. They're getting you all excited about silver. Silver's going up. Oh, it's the only, everything's going to crash. You know, the Illuminati are on the run. That's what they keep doing. They're playing games with you left and right. And uh, a lot of people just can't see that. And then it crashes. That's why I said before, even gold and silver at one point in time are going to be like a big middle class wealth trap. Right now it ain't. It's boring, right? But just remember George Soros. You know, there's some aspects to this guy I like. You know, first off, he's for mar medicinal marijuana and all this other stuff like that. He doesn't like the United States, mainly because of the oil barons and he it thinks it's too militaristic and creates bad, does bad things in the world. I could almost agree with that. I can actually meet this guy halfway on some stuff, to tell you the truth. So, But I think, you know, considering he's wealthy, those are the type of people you really need to listen to. Uh, 
you know, he says he says investing can be boring. It very often is boring. And if you get real excited about it, oh, silver's going up. Oh, look at me. Silver's the hottest thing in the world. It's probably a problem then. It's probably getting too high. It's probably getting too far ahead of itself, and it's going to crash again. But you never know. You never know. You never know what the wild ride's going to take you. So sometimes, you, but you don't want to hang on too long. You want to throw it away and go to the next one. So... Now, this is the other thing here. This is the uh, Commodity Index. It's actually the Commodities Research Bureau. That's what CRB stands for. Um, <clears throat> now, in the case of this, it's sitting very flat. But this is across the board. But, you know, if you're looking at silver, that's pretty much what's going on. But the manufacturing's going up slowly. And, uh, you know, I have to state that, you know, that's a good sign. That's a good sign. Ben Bernanke's words, I would not necessarily take put too much weight on and uh, he's more or less the thing that actually drove the markets down recently and uh, what the Fed meeting said but actually it was more the way the media the way major media twisted those words which tells you the major media is some something not to be trusted now I'm going to talk about something else not to be trusted sometimes I mean I got a lot of people I don't know I got about 50 50 on this maybe a little more positive it was about Alex Jones I don't trust him I think he's a shill too and I, I talked about you know his wife is Jewish and I don't want to I'm not talking bad about Jewish people but you know this is where people get confused because I don't want Jews to get picked on uh, but this is where people get confused you got elitist in every group right you got them in the Protestant group, the Catholic group with the Vatican. You got them in uh, China. The families going way back that own that whole country. You know, we're not aware of really details of what goes on in China, but that's a rigged system big time. You know, you can say the Jews run uh, New York City. Well, maybe they do, but, you know, in China they don't run anything. So they got, there's, you know, and it's like people focus in too much they paint too broad of a brush but you know this is a remark a style like here it says uh you know he goes a few things always bug me about alex jones if you get past the fact that jones is is i don't know if he's maybe he is i don't know jewish blood i don't really give a shit but married a jew every advertiser i don't know how true this is but yeah he's got some jewish connections and everything but you know i always point out a lot of people stick up for him like idiots i think he's playing a game with you people man He's not. And, uh, you know, the whole point is not to say it's because he's in with Jews. It's because he's in with elitists. He's in with elitists. And that's what you're fighting. And that's what supposedly Alex Jones is against. Now, similarly, with the silver crowd, a lot of these people are in tight with people in the silver uh, business world, if you want to call it investment world, that are actually on the top of the game, that made like billions of dollars and all this type of stuff, and they're in tight with that. You know, those type of people, they don't make money by selling to uh, foolish Wall Street sharks. They make money by selling to middle class people looking for a good investment that are trusting what the silver bloggers say. See, right now they're real quiet. Actually, I think uh, that's a good sign for silver. That's what's making me feel more confident about it, too. So, one thing I'm saying is, uh, besides this silver update, watch your alternative media very carefully. Watch Russia Today. Watch Alex Jones. Not because he's, you know, I pointed out uh, JPFO, Jews for the Preservation of Firearms Ownership. Those are the guys you got to get behind, not behind Alex Jones. And, uh, you know, this is all related to silver because silver, guns, and everything, it's all about independence and uh, individual rights and that's what the United States of America stands for more than anything now um, as far as Jewish actually I probably lean towards that religion more than Christian in a lot of ways but I wouldn't actually convert to it because I'd already I, I'd have a problem with any religion to tell you the truth um, you know I would look at I would actually probably have an argument with you know who cares about the wall let's just build a new temple and uh, we got plenty of land here in the United States maybe establish another Israel right here where they got this UN take over all the national parks hey that could be a good place right there and kick out the UN and uh, make a new temple in the hell with the wall I'd be like out with the old in with the new you know that'd be my freaking thing and I'd be at a major clash with all the uh, uh, religious people in uh, Judaism right there, right? So I don't go with any religion, you know? That's pretty much the way I am. 
But uh, I probably lean towards them a little more than Christians for sure, uh, because I think they're nicer people. But uh, just be aware, Alex Jones seems to be working with Jewish elitist, 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 and that's the key word. Uh, you know, you got Chinese elitist over in China, families that run things for thousands of years, and I think we got silver bug elitists that are misleading us, misleading us, and probably working with top investors that know, you know. You know, like I pointed out, a couple, I don't want to even mention it anymore, but a couple of uh, smart people that supposedly know everything about silver sold silver on April 28th, 2011, right before it crashed. But, you know, they weren't really telling anybody else you better sell, you know. So, you know, I just got to point this out, too. So, you know, I'm on the alternative, alternative cutting edge, you know. So let's, uh, you know, if you want to listen to me, fine. But I'm, I'm not out here to piss anybody off here. I'm actually here to tell you the truth. And I will make a couple bucks on these videos while I'm doing it. What the hell, right? You know, I don't give a damn. Actually, you know, I have nothing against uh, monetizing accounts or anything like that. So if anybody wants to think I'm not telling the truth because I monetize an account, eh, bullshit, bullshit. You know what? That's like if you go to any kind of professional in the world, actually you're getting this information much cheaper than you would if you walked in an office. Because the going rates are usually well over $100 an hour. But anyway, it looks like the commodity indexes are sitting pretty flat, right? And silver is one, one animal that doesn't sit very flat for very long. And, uh, you know, you're getting bored with it. But just remember what George Wiley, old George Soros said, that, you know, when you're, when you're actually getting too excited, things are really looking great. And you're all, you're like, wow, I'm making money hand and fist. And yeah, this investing is easy. And, you know, that's when you better watch out because you're in for a fall then. Actually, investing is kind of boring. But silver is not going to stay flat forever. Never. It never will. And just beware of the elitist in the silver world. Beware of the elitist in uh, Alex Jones's uh, life there, too. And I'm not trying to be anti Jewish about it because either, you know, it's either like this. Either somebody doesn't like Alex Jones simply because he's associated with some Jews, or it's like they follow everything he says like it's gospel. But just remember, the type of people he's in, involved with that are Jewish are the elitist type. They're not the average ones. So let's uh, not be anti-Semitic about it. Let's just point out that Alex Jones is in with elitist, and he's playing a game against a lot of the people that are supposedly truthers and things like that. So that's my view on that. So... Uh, I'm the actual real truther, and I can tell you, I go back way before the Internet was, like, popular, and I read these things, and I look for accurate information. And I read a lot of history, too. So, but, you know, just tell you with this thing with silver, this space goes silver update, don't worry about it crashing really hard. I can't see how. You know, the, in other words, that PMI da data index going up like that, the manufacturing index, that means the production in the world is fairly decent, which means there's a pretty good demand for silver. They probably are suppressing it right now because the mines aren't making enough money, yet it's in demand, and yet it's being used globally, and that's actually in heavy investment demand. And oh yeah, by the way, we've had record coin sales coming out of the U.S. Mint left and right. Record. All-time record, which broke all-time records last year. So what does that tell you? Yeah, the price is being suppressed. How long? I can't be forever. Like I said, un unintended consequences, and that's what uh, Mark Farber says, unintended consequences will come about. And, you know, when silver sitting flat like this, it's going <laughs> to freaking go one way or the other really fast and make a very hard move. And I say it's going to be up. But that's when your uh, disinformation silver bloggers are going to all come into being. Buy it now. It's going to a 1,000. Yeah, okay.